Hey Ross World, my money makes money. What is the biggest dilemma in your life? When you're about to purchase an item, whether it be a car or a house, and you're trying to figure out, is it the price? Am I being cheap? Is it too expensive? Well, there's really no perfect answer for that because if it's a house, then it depends on what type of neighborhood you're in. And you can quite frankly, renovate the house and fix it up over the course of time. Now, if it's a car, don't forget, we all know cars depreciate in value as soon as you drive that suck off the lot. But some of us say, you know, I work my ass off, I want a, want a nice car. And you deserve it. But a lot of times in life, we forget the word frugal. We confuse the word frugal with cheap. What's cheap? Cheap is when you say, well, I need that item, but I know that it's not going to last long. But you're willing to pay for that item two or three times, knowing that you're going to use that item or product over the course of time. Now, frugal is finding something on discount, on clearance, that's still a steady and hefty and solid product. Now, expensive is you not being smart with your money. Now, I know some people, especially where I come from, I know some people who get off telling people how much they pay for it. Oh, man, how you make, how much you pay for that shirt? Shit, dog, this white tee was $100. $100 for a white t-shirt. I remember the Gucci store in Maryland. They were selling Gucci t-shirts for $100. Plain white t-shirt. It had Gucci right here. Ridiculous. But the point I'm trying to make is you have to understand the difference between expensive and frugal. Now, I hit on this before in another video, but this is kind of a different twist in the sense of we always buying items, but you guys are scared or afraid and you're trying to be bougie, which you don't really have the room, you'd rather spend all your cash, you'd rather cash in your investments, going to your savings to buy bougie items that you can get in a frugal manner, that you can get on discount, that you can get on clearance. Like take for instance, my wife, she know I just bought this new watch and she had mentioned it, but she let it go because she know I love watches and I really haven't bought anything. This is between me and you in case she watched the video. But anyway, now that watch is $250. Now, it's the new Garmin Vivo HR, right? But what she doesn't know is I didn't pay $250 for that watch. I think I paid $125, if that, and I actually was saving for it. But I bought it, what? Certified refurbished. Because I buy a lot of things that has been used, but it has been certified repaired. It doesn't matter, especially like Amazon. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, Amazon have what they call Amazon warehouse deals. I've bought quite a few items off of there. And they're like, oh, maybe it's a minor scratch or ding. Nine times out of 10, they just say that to cover their ass, but I've received items that never had a scratch or a ding. And if it did, I couldn't even notice because I'm not that shallow, okay? I'm not that materialistic. Now, if you were to meet me and my wife, you would say they bougie, okay? And you want to say it's because the way we speak, the way we act, it's because we have nice stuff. But I can tell you this, we look for deals. We go to places like Ross, Burlington Co. Factory. But if you come inside the house, you're like, oh, that's nice. That picture must have cost two, three hundred dollars. No, 50, 60, 75 bucks. So you have to understand the difference between man, frugal, expensive, bougie, all these levels, all these levels of being materialistic. So I want you to be conscious on the frugal side where you get a great product at a very great price. And when I search for any item, I look on all the discounted websites. Yes, I look on Amazon. I look on eBay. Because if I'm going to get that item, now of course, I look at the reviews to make sure that seller has 100% or within the 95 to 100% review ratio that's good. So understand that you have to be an educated shopper and understand just because it's expensive doesn't mean you have to pay that high price. You don't have to pay that expensive price. Either you may have to wait until the winter to buy your summer clothes or the summertime to buy your winter clothes, especially when they're trying to get that last load of clothes out. Okay. That new, those new fall specials, all those things. Understand the different times that you need to go to shop when those sales start to hit those big holidays, those blackout sales. Now, I'm not telling you to go in those Black Friday lines because I never, ever been in a Black Friday line because people have died. I just never went. It's just too much. I wait for Cyber Monday. 
And sometimes Cyber Monday is not even a good deal. But like I said before, understand what's cheap and that cheap will actually cost you more over the course of time because you may have to continue to buy that item. Sometimes you may have to pay a little bit more for a solid product. That's okay. That's okay because it's going to pay for itself over time. I mean, depending on what it is. But don't just be cheap. And don't just go out and buy expensive shit to tell your homeboy or your homegirl that, yeah, girl, I just copped this. I just bought this. Really? How stupid can you be bragging about how much you spent on an item that's not eternal, that's not going to last forever? Now, some people, and mainly rich people, I'm going there, they go out and tell you how cheap something was. How much money they save? Like, Bob, I got this Aston Martin for just $125,000. Really, Jim? Really? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, Bob, let me tell you. This thing was a quarter of a million dollars. And he said, you know what? If you're paying cash, you get what I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, so don't take it that way. But these guys brag about how much they got an expensive item for cheap. Listen, <laughs> you change your mind, you'll change your world. If you change your mind... You'll change your world. If you change your mind, you'll change your world. Things will start to happen. And once you change your mind, your words out your mouth will start to change. And instead of saying, hey girl, I paid this much, you'll be like, hey girl, I saved so much money by doing this. This is Ross where we're being frugal is the key and buying expensive shit is just simply stupid. I'm out.